Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join a hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. In this video, I want to talk about the top five candidates who I think may be traded leading up to the trade deadline or at the trade deadline itself for the New Jersey Devils. So I'm going to start at the bottom, work my way up. So the first one I want to mention at number five is Connor Carrick. Connor Carrick is a right-handed defenseman, currently making 1.5 million AAV. He's a UFA at year's end. 26 years old and hasn't played a game yet this year. So, um, you know, if you have a team that wants to add a six, seven, eight defenseman and at a good contract where he's a, you know, doesn't have a lot of term, doesn't have a lot of a dollar amount and is a right-handed shot, they may look to give a late round pick to the Devils in exchange for him. You know, with the Devils, he's played in 18, 19 since being acquired, uh, 20 games, uh, one goal, six assists, uh, seven points. And in 19, 20, he played in 29 games, one goal, five assists, six points. So if anybody's looking to add depth of defenseman for not a steep price, they may look for Connor Carrick. Um, at number four, I have Matt Tennyson. Uh, he's another right-handed defenseman. He's currently making 700000 He's a UFA at year's end, 30 years old. And in nine games, he has uh, zero goals, one assist, one point, but a plus seven. So if a lot of teams want to add a, um, a tough, rugged, right-handed defenseman, Primarily as a six, seven, eight defenseman, you know he's another one that may not cost a lot, doesn't have a lot of term, doesn't have a lot of dollar amount, and for his contract plays fairly well for what he makes. Um, you know he's a tough, rugged defenseman. So if anybody wants that sort of uh, player and not spend a lot, they may look for him as a piece from the Devils as well for a later round pick. At number three, I have Kyle Palmieri. Now Kyle Palmieri, I don't want traded. I'm just going to state that right off the bat. Um, I just put him on here because I don't know what's going to happen. You know. Blake Coleman being traded last year was was a shock to me, so um, he kind of falls in that line. You know, he's kind of he's got this year left on his deal. He's thirty years old, uh, currently making four point six five million, and this year hasn't been the best year for him. He's played in eight games. He has zero goals, three assists, three points. You've seen him trying to play with Hughes, and this year Hughes has taken such a leap that Palmieri looks like he can't keep up with him. And um, you know his shot selections off this year. There's just a lot off of Palmieri, and it's very unlike the way he's playing. So, um, like all the analyst says, I always think that if he scores one goal, they're just going to start coming, and his confidence will grow. But, um, you know, especially when you get into those games past five, you grip the sticks a little harder, and you just start shooting from anywhere. And, you know, the frustration does grow. So I could definitely see, I saw that growing on Palmieri as the games went on. But I still do have a feeling if he starts to score, he will keep it up. And, you know, come trade deadline, if he's not moved, you know, if he's not given an extension, um, curious to see what happens with him. You know, uh, they, uh, Amanda Stein a while back was saying that Fitzgerald was talking to Gusev and Palmieri's agents. So you kind of thought a deal would get hammered out, but they're still, they still haven't been given one. So, um, you know, with the emergence of a lot of these rookies that are playing for the Devils and a lot of Devils that have really stepped it up this year in our, in our pot prospect pool, it may force the Devils to make a, a very big decision with Gusev and Palmieri. But, um, you know, Palmieri, since being acquired from the Devils in 2015-2016, he's been a one-time 30-goal scorer, a uh, three-time 25-goal scorer, and a four-time 20-goal scorer. So teams know what they're going to get if they want him. They're going to get a winger that can score some goals. Definitely a top-six talent. And, um, you know, this is a situation where if the Devils want to add another first-round pick, and another prospect, that's what you're going to probably get for Paul Mary. So um, it's going to be a very interesting situation as the year goes on to see what happens with him. I know he's very loved with the fan base. I love him as well. And, you know, I hope he can start scoring because the Devils need it. But um, it's going to be curious to see what happens with Paul Mary as the year goes on. At number two, I have Nikita Gusev. Uh, Nikita Gusev is a UFA at year's end. He's currently making $4.5 million. He's been a left wing, right wing, um, 28 years old, you know, and, and he's definitely taken a dip from last year. In uh, 1920, he played in 66 games, 13 goals, 31 assists, 44 points. And this year, 2021, he's played in nine games. He has one assist, one point, and a minus six. So we've definitely seen what happened with Gusev this year. He's definitely having a, a tough start to this year. Um, his moves are, are still elusive, but when he's trying to make that second move, he doesn't have the speed to get around players and players are zoning in on him very fast compared to last year. You know, last year he had a little more time and space to work with, but I think when players, you know, saw tape on him, they know that if you get to him with speed it takes away his game. So, um, 
you've seen what he's done this year. His shot selection's off. You know, he's just he's just definitely not the same to start this year. Last year, he did have a slow start to the year. So this year, again, like Palmieri, if he starts putting up some points, it may just be one of those things where he needs confidence to, you know, st- keep, you know, play up to that level again. So um, if it comes down to one or the other, I think Palmieri will be signed and Gusev will be traded. But, um, you know, Gusev is another fan favorite where a lot of uh, fans uh, really attached to him last year. And, um, you know, he's a good guy. So we'll see what happens with him. You know, I like Gusev, but um, if he could bring back a good uh, play, a good pick for the Devils and a good asset, Devils may look to move him because they have a lot of players that can really step up in those spots. We've seen the emergence of McLeod, uh, Bastian, Kwokinen, um, Boquist. You know, we've seen a lot of players and we still have foot in the pipeline. We have Holtz coming up soon, so... It's it's we're having an abundance of wingers coming in where we didn't have it and we didn't expect these players to take such a leap, where um it's gonna be one of those situations where you may see some change and it may be Gusev. So um definitely keep an eye out on this one as the year goes on as well. And number one, I have Will Butcher. Now Will Butcher is just a head scratcher to me. He hasn't played a game yet this year. Tennyson has played over him every single game, and um, you know, when Vatnin comes back. Tennyson's coming out, Butcher ain't coming in, Vaden's going to go in. So um, it's going to be another one of those situations like Tennyson where, and Carrick where they're gonna, they've are they seen the abundance of, of defensemen we have in our system. Ryan Murray and Dmitry Kulikov have come in and seemed and fit very seamlessly in with this team where they're, I love the way they played. And um, it's definitely going to force them to either ask to be traded or they will be traded because they see our pipelines getting deeper with defense that are really uh, pushing to make the team. So um, they see it and they know they're not getting the playing time to deserve. So they may ask to be traded. You know, Butcher has another year left after this year, 3.73 million AAV. So it's an affordable contract for a defenseman. Uh, He's 26 years old. Um, You know, I know he had an issue with his thumb last year, but you know, coming back to this year, he said he was 110% healthy I've seen him play the last couple of scrimmages games before we started the year, and he looked really good, so um, I think he scored in the last one too. But, um, you know, I was just shocked to see Tennyson over him. I understand the coach's decision to put Tennyson in because he adds that physical, rugged element that Butcher lacks. So um, I know against the bigger teams like uh, Boston and Philly, we needed him in the lineup. But um, it's curious to me why playing Buffalo, who's not as big as those teams, he hasn't played a game even then. So, um I really think something's going to happen with Butcher this year. I think he may get traded, or he may be one of those players that starts playing and gets exposed come um, come the expansion draft. But, um, you know, he scored his, his rookie campaign with the Devils, 44 points in 81 games, 30 points in 78 games, and last year, 21 points in 56 games. So you have seen a dip in his production, but I still always think of that summer when he was – Choosing between teams and he picked the Devils. You know, I'll never forget that when team when players go out and pick the Devils, it's something that rings true to all the all the Devils fans. And I know to put up 44 points in 81 games as a rookie is extremely tough for a defenseman. I really think he should have got more nominations for Calder Trophy that year. But um, you know, it's it's one of those things where I hope Butcher can play a couple of games, really show what he has to offer, and make a tough decision for uh, Lindy Ruff and the Devils. But um, you know, I hope he plays some games. I want to see what Butcher has because I, I do like the way he plays. He just had a really bad r- go of it the last two years. And uh, hopefully he can get back to the game that he had when he first came into the league. So um, these are my top five candidates who I think the Devils will most likely trade. You know, honorable mentions, I still have the Devils possibly trading a goaltender. Possibly Wedgwood. I think some teams may, if they have an extra sixth, fifth, sixth, or seventh round pick, they may trade it to the Devils for him. You know, he's got a Stanley Cup win last year. Um, he's been playing... Fairly well this year, even in the games he's played with losses. And, um, you know, teams may, if they want to deepen their goaltenders, uh, they may try to to trade for him or one of our goalies. We'll see what happens with them. And, um, you know, I know some some people are going to ask me about Subban. I don't see Subban being traded. Um, Devils would have to retain a lot of his salary and um, probably attach something to it for, for for another team to take him. But, um, you know, I don't think with his rate and what he has left, a lot of, team, a lot of teams are going to bite on it. But um, we'll see what happens as the year goes on. So comment below what you think about this. Uh, who do you think should have been added to this list? And do you agree with my list? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy and stay safe.